Mercury Rev and Car Wash Hair. As promised, all the way through the show, we've been joined by Dave Baker, formerly of Mercury Rev, but it wasn't in that video because you're sitting here. I was in the video. I was in the video, but you just yeah, said you didn't play Yeah, I make the video. I just, I know I'm not the singer on that song. Right. Disappointed by that? Um, no, it's a fine song without me singing. Right. So you've put together the Shady Project, and although it's pretty much a solo deal for you, you enlisted the help of a great deal of the dozens pop and dozens of people. Tell us about who's on that record with you. Um, Ringo Jukes from Memphis. Right. Doug Easley from Memphis. You guys know them, right? I'll believe anything you say, you know, I'm gullible. Um, no, it's true, they're, right. they're, they're on there. There's 20 people, some of them are real uh, popular amongst some people, and then some of them are popular amongst other people. Right. you got uh, Martin Carr of the Blue Radleys on there, haven't you? Yeah, he's a really nice, funny guy. Right. But you didn't just have them play, they wrote with you and stuff as well. Yeah, I co-wrote with Martin, and I uh, co-wrote with Sue Young Park. Right. Bill Whitten, who's playing with me at the club. Right. I was going to ask you, actually, seeing as though you put the records together with, like, guests as such. Jimmy like... Shields, too. You right. Know him? Oh. Skate Skinny. Right, yes. That, that's on Pro uh, Prosperous. Yeah. Yeah, that's my favourite track on there, for those of you that care. Um, how's that going to work live, then? Um, you take the uh, cable and you put it in the amp, you turn it up and... Uh... Oxygen for Mr. Baker. Go on. I need to wake up. Right. All right. <laughs> Um, how's it gonna work? Well, it's, you never guarantee that how it's gonna work, you know that. I know nothing. I'm here to find out. Um, but you don't, you don't have like 20 guests on stage with you, I mean, you've put a live no, band together. Uh, oh, I see, right, that's right. the question. Yeah, five, uh, sorry. five other people. My right. sister's playing violin. Right. There's a drummer, there's two guitarists, a bass player. Right. And then I play guitar. You did the first live show with Shady this week? Yeah. Where was that? The new knitting factory in New York. Right. Yeah. Were you sort of happy with the way it went? Does it make you want to do it again? Yeah, I like I like playing live. I, you know, we didn't have much time to get together a few days. Right. Okay, well, you've chosen... It's the, uh, the Elvis thing, you know, get the band. Right. Or Tom Jones, go in there. Did you rehearse with the band, strangers. or did you send, like, a musical director and say, Mr. Baker wants this Elvis style? I said, you better, <laughs> and then everybody just started playing. I said, okay. I love ahead. the way that works. It's just like the movies, isn't it? <laughs> but you've uh, picked us a favorite video to watch. Can you remember what it is? Um, it's either the Boo Radleys or um, Roller Skate Skinny or St. Johnny or, or John Lennon. Yes, it's John Lennon and it's Instant Karma. That's uh, John Lennon and uh, Instant Karma, as chosen by David Bailey. No, as chosen by David, David Baker. Baker. Yeah, but Bailey's like the joke on having a camera in your hand. Oh, right. Can you send me a copy of that? Sure. I'm a big fan of myself. I wanted to ask you, actually, about when you were writing the album. It's just the songs and stuff, I've got them in a big on atmosphere. I was wondering, do you have, like, um, a vision of a song when you sort of sit down to get it together, or...? Yeah, that's good. Vision. Everything's vision. Right. Dreams. But do you know how you want it to be? Video, videos? No, you know. Videos the, the and sound. music, it's all just, it's dreams. No, no kidding. Right. Go to sleep and have a dream and try to recreate it. Like, like uh, Narcotic Candy was a, a dream of, uh, well, it's pretty personal, but anyway. And then there's all these ships and water and stuff. So then we wrote the song with that in mind. So there's a so lot of dream, images. A yeah, lot of images. First. Yeah, dreams are really good. Is it easy to pull off, though, if you've got an idea of, like, maybe you dream something and it should and sound like this? Is it easy to make it translate? Well, no, it's not, it's not rigid like that. It could be anything, you know, just but there's a lot of dreams and then it comes up to that point where you're saying... Um, and also some experiences where you're dreaming when you're awake. Right. You know, like you're uh, daydreaming and you see things happening that... Uh, you know, you're seeing like that little guy over there running around, some, right. or maybe something. Well, I don't you've know. just seen somebody running. No, around. no. Uh, I, I sometimes like you know see things happening. Right. And um, then I remember them, and then I try to recreate it, and then sometimes interact with the space of the re recording. Right. So a lot of visual. You got it exactly. I envision it, and then try to uh, collaborate with the other people's visions. Right. 
So you, I read as well that you were influenced by Lutan Baba, who is the famous rolling saint from India who rolled around the world or something ridiculous. Well, I was inspired by him. Right. I Just for that week that I, re I read about him. Right. Did that I end up in a song? I haven't met the guy since. Huh? Did that end up in a song? No, I, it's just that uh, I was trying to to uh, um, just think about what I'm inspired by, and so then that week I was, you know, it changes, you know. Right. If, you, if you're inspired by the same thing all the time, then you get stuck there. But th I just thought that the guy had been through so much. And yeah, I'd, he was I was, I was through nothing. Right. But I thought I'd been through a lot, and then I came out of it strong because of uh, the fact that I figured that my life's pretty pretty easy I'm right. pretty, pretty spoiled just the way we like it <laughs> so what happens next for Shady in the near future oh well, I don't think the people know who Lot Lot Lotan, Lotan is do you want to explain it do you want to well no I mean did you uh, he rolled across 2,000 miles yeah like on the ground with people running around with uh, mm. flags and things and he ate grass you saw it though yeah, I, I saw didn't it. see it yeah we and he ate grass and stood in the same place for how long? I think it was like years. Seven years, I think. Chained to the uh, village tree. And uh, see, that, that that's about as long as I was in my former band. Right. Seven years. <laughs> Better than being chained, chained to, to a tree. tree. <laughs> but it was a nice tree and I had a good time. So, looting aside, what, what's happening next for Shady? Uh, well, I'm doing the gig tomorrow. That's pretty much what I can think about right, right. now. But I'm also, I'm, get, I'm writing for the next record. Already? Yeah, I'm, I'm writing my dreams now. Right. Okay, well, good luck with it, and thanks for dropping in. Is uh, Shady and Narcotic Candy. Thanks.